Janka. Just to get air, because everything made in town, whatever. Oh, good point. Oh, maybe not maybe. It was an episode of this. It's not funny, but it's an episode of The Simpsons where they order something from China and the person sneezed on it and then packaged it up. And then when it got to Homer and Simpson, he opened it up and all the germs came back. <laughs> 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 you smell the bamboo? I'm sure it has a good aroma. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That smells amazing. Oh, yeah. But I still want it to just like really That cool. smells amazing. Smells like the shop they made it. Yeah. Oh, look. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We're going to really enjoy that. We're going to mm-hmm. enjoy this. Nice. Smell the bread. You can go check it out. In the living room. I mean, living room. In the... I have to start my detox when we get back. <laughs> Red <Rinse> some sausage. <laughs> Can I introduce you first to the strawberries. The strawberries. You, you did great. You, you tried. Uh, you did try. Never mind. I can't blame you. You guys can have some. Uh, I, I, I showed him all the best stuff first, April. Sure. I showed him all the best fruits, the strawberries, the blueberries, the yeah. So he talking about it's my fault? Yeah. His fault. No, he no. Made his he made his election election queen. He said, here's the tree of everlasting life. You can touch all these trees, but this one, <laughs> the sausage and the bread don't touch. <laughs> this one. But you can't cut it while it's hot though, right? It doesn't cut as well when it's when you cut it warm. But you if you use that serrated knife, it'll cut better. But it smashes down. It'll if you let it cool off, yeah. it'll stay firm. It'll, it'll keep compact. a shape. Yeah, it'll keep a shape, and you can get a cleaner slice. Can you use this to make bagels? This recipe? Probably. Bagels, I don't know because you know bagels are hard on the outside, like a pretzel. It's hard on the outside oh, and okay. cooked in the middle. So I don't know what that process oh, is. Yeah. You have to do some. Machine. Well, there's a technique you got to do. Mm-hmm. Like you got to. I think it's like an ice bath or something. You okay. have to do something to that top layer to okay. get it that hard texture and then doughy on the inside. Okay. But you can use this same recipe for pizza dough, for yeast rolls, and this loaf bread. What you doing, Jim? Right. Eating some strawberries. Okay. All right. Oil, so it's honey, and then the yeast is in the refrigerator. Right, you use that gas and you smell it and I don't smell it. I don't okay. say nothing. Mm. What it is? I'm making a bed. Who's bed? The bed they sleep in. Yes. His oh. bed. Oh. But um. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Dude, that's bad right did. there. We did that. Nice. Wow. So you gonna Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it good and dry. Yeah. And you might want to pull oh, some more Oh, there's some here. No, this is just Oh, that one. Like that, huh? Isn't that cool? Now they have bread cutters, but we're just gonna put what we got. Just gonna cut it. Oh, just to do that. Oh, are you guys just doing this as prepared? Isn't that cool? That's cool. Man, I didn't punch it. You hurt your hand. I was like, I would miss the the whole effect of how. Yeah. They smart, man. They're beautiful. <laughs> Why would you settle for something else? <laughs> so once it's about like that shape, you're gonna take the long end and you tuck your roll. Tuck your roll, tuck your roll, tuck your roll. And now it's kind of long, so I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze. Try to get that square slash rectangle texture. And I'm gonna place it. It's okay, it'll work. You kind of want something a little deeper, but it's good. It'll work. Yeah, and then you want to take your long in there and just start rolling. Tuck your roll. Like tuck it underneath. Yep, tuck like that in there. And yours is going to remember the size of your fan. So once you get it rolled and tucked, then you're going to um, maybe try to squeeze it together. Because this is fan is <laughs> so I just need to get those little pans over there. If you get the um the low pans, yeah, that'll be good. What's the best one? Aluminum or uh, get a pyrex, no get a glass one. Get a glass pyrex one. They have them at Uh-huh. Making, making bread. I was talking about starting a business like this. There. So I've never done it in these pirates bowls, so I don't know if 
my other camera. Okay. Oh, I don't have to take some pictures on my phone. Okay, take pictures. Yeah, do me a favor, Janelle. Can you put this back in the refrigerator? Yeah. And then, Jaden, can you put this back in the where he has the phone? Joy, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Sneaking away. <laughs> All right, you can go. You dismiss. Yeah. I do get the just I mean so when I do start using the bread machine I wouldn't know if I can mix it or not but I just know I just yeah. see that I can yeah because it might say like on the instructions um, after your first ride then put it in the machine like it should tell you at what stage because you already know how now you know how to make the dough you got the dough but can you put it in there with like that that's that's the question that's what i don't know because we're so used to just popping it in the oven Probably the most time consuming, and it's only 10 minutes. When you it, we'll have a music or something playing, and it'll go by pretty fast. So, waiting for it to rise, you can be doing it while it's ready. You know, you can set yourself a timer, maybe that'll take a nap. Take a nap. Check on it. I got my hour in. Don't just set the timer, but let the timer run. Right, right, right. It's part of the process now. Tradition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's a video, not picture. It's a picture. Yeah, that's looking good. You want it to be smooth, just like that. So with the KitchenAid, you don't have to do this? No, the KitchenAid does this for us. Yeah. We don't have to That's need it anymore. Yeah. But this, I mean, this is let you put the love in it. Yeah. You can say, you can taste the love, this is the love. <laughs> How some of the fold is. Right. Just yeah. to do that. You just what? Just wanted to do that. Oh. Yep. Bread. Bread. Side note: You can use the same dough okay. for pizza. Like mm -hmm. say you just want to make homemade pizza. This will make you two pies, two large pies. We let it rise. I think one time we let it do that first rise for an hour, and then that's good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. So what we can do by the time we get done with this, we can have this ready for tomorrow. Yeah, you're good. You're good. So you can finish up that knee, what you're doing now. 
And then what you're going to do after this, you're going to take it and shape it into a ball. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to shape it into a ball and flatten it out. So you can do it. So you're going to lift it up and then you can see how I kind of mold it, kind of embody it. And then just pull around and just try to shape it into a ball. So this one. You don't have to tear it like too, too much. <laughs> you have more of a grip than that. See, I can put some up in there in yours. <laughs> but that's good, yep. And then you look at it from the top, it's like a little dough ball, just like that. And what we're going to do, oh, I had them put the, could you grab? So we didn't need no milk. Milk no was milk. for the biscuits. Milk was for the biscuits. I, was like, oh, I brought some milk because I was like, I, yeah. I remember. Milk was for the biscuits. <laughs> so if you scroll back to the top, let's see. We're going to start with our four and three quarter cups of flour. So I'm going to just walk you through. Oh, look at that foam. How did you do that? Wait, how did you get it open it? Do it for. Oh, what? That's cool. Like a book. That gotta be a stamp for me. Tap. <laughs> that is fancy. Yeah, I lost a daughter last week. <laughs> she, I, I texted Maya or something and mm -hmm. came back like, you liked an image? I was like, oh, uh, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, she was... And see, and I thought they was already going on the cruise. Yeah. But then they leave to Sandy. Okay. I thought they was already gone. Uh huh. See, I'm just getting mixed up on the dates and times. Alright, so. Now we're there for clubs. And you'll see why I mentioned it's going to be deep enough. Or sometimes we, uh, like, we use like an aluminum bowl. Have you ever seen an aluminum bowl? Those are pretty easy. That's something you can consider like if you want to. Yeah, if you ever want to make it again. Just some like my name people. This one this one is good. Um Papa, you don't need to get another one. This is good. 
Oh, that would have worked. But this is okay. We'll, we're going to work with this one. Well, at least I know that I mean, I don't Yes, that, that will be just fine, the one that you have, that glass one. So I did one cup. There's two. I'm just trying to get the process in my head. Yeah. Um, you know, see, if you had sent me that recipe, you wasn't here. I've been trying to like vegan wipe the egg. Right. Yeah, this yeah. all that. So I did two. This is three. And then this is four. It takes a lot of time. But this is going to yield you two loaves of bread. Four whole cups, and then we need two. I think it was three quarter cups. Yeah. And take your one quarter cup. Okay. And we okay. just need three well, of these. Three. So it says three quarter. Yeah, just one three quarter. So you got three quarters. So that only comes in one quarter. So that just means you want three of these. Oh, I thought I had some. So I did one. I did four whole cups. Yeah, okay, I thought I had a three-quarter cup thing back there, but okay. No, you okay. had a three, you had a one-third. Okay, yeah, okay, so I'll yeah. do that. Yeah, so okay. Okay. there's okay. one. I got two. Two. Three. Four. Breakfast is going to be the bomb the bar. Actually, we can wash them. That's also important. But, we, I mean, we got this one. They're the same. But that can all go back in. Just so we can get some food. All right, so back to the measurement. We need two one quarter teaspoons. I always tell the girls to double check, triple check, teaspoon. We want two of these. We're just going to add it to our bottom. And I just shake it to level it off. See how it's a mound? You don't want a mound. Just level it off. Two. There's the two teaspoons. Our wet ingredients are one and one quarter cup. I'm sorry. One and one half cup of warm water. And yes. And then four tablespoons. Rest. You want to pour that till you get to one and a half. And if you go slightly over, it's no big deal. And now we're going to go back. Yeah, we're going to add our um, honey and our olive oil. So I'm going to start with the honey because it's still weak. It needs something sweet to like eat. Now we need our four tablespoons of olive oil. 
And it doesn't have to be olive oil. If you ever wanted to use avocado oil, you could. It's not going to change so the it's taste. Table, table spoon. Correct. Okay. So it's the same okay. thing okay. that you use for your honey. Right. So we need four of these. One. You added the honey yet? Already added the honey. To the yep. water? Yep. Okay. Once all this is mixed, we're going to take our wet ingredient and we're going to add it to the water. To the drip. Yep, to the wet. To our diet. Yeah, no, they didn't. <laughs> no, I just learned something. To the water. Let <laughs> see how it's like. Wet. Jacob's water. Jacob's water. Mm -hmm. Just like jelly. Yeah, no, it, it's gonna get a bit to make sure that's good. But try to get it as mixed in as possible. Once um, you get it mostly pumped through, then then it comes the kneading stage, and we'll knead it for this, ten minutes. This ain't kneading. No, that's not kneading. That's just stirring it in. So keep stirring, keep stirring. Get that wet and the dry mixed in. Yeah, if I was using the bread machine, I'd probably just put all this inside the machine. I don't know, because I've never used the bread machine. But my guess would be yes, after you knead it. But I think, I think it's supposed to still rise. I don't, I've never used the bread machine. I have no idea. I would think it was, it's supposed to rise before you put it in the bread machine. But I don't know. Maybe the bread machine lets you skip that step. So once you get it to this point, this is considered like flaky. Flaky dough, once it starts to flake up like this, mm -hmm. you know you're ready to knead it. And if it starts to stink, you just add more flour. But do that for 10 minutes. 10 minutes time over here. Fold and knead. Fold and knead. Fold. You want to add that to it? And then I'll give you more uh, flour as you need it as necessary. Let me know if it starts sticking to you. And then you can just throw some of that flour. You can even pinch it, pinch it in your hands, yep, and put it on the dough. Yep, and you just do that, you know, do this for 10 minutes. Yep, pull it any direction. Yep, just keep doing that. We're gonna actually use this bowl after a while. We're gonna let it rise in this bowl. Normally I would use the same bowl to let it rise in there, but since we got a clean bowl ready. Did you start the timer, Derek? No. Oh, you want me to start? Yes! <laughs> How are we going to know? We just, we just say two minutes. We, we'll say that was right. <laughs> yeah, that's about two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to start the timer. You said it. Maybe you say go. <laughs> Tired. 
Need a timeout? No. 20 second timeout? No. <laughs> Need a sub? Joanne! <laughs> I'm joking. Never mind. Ah, look at this wisdom. You know, and just say, like, when they was in high school, they would come with one color hair, cut off their hair. Oh. And so she never did be like, why are you cut, you know? Mm -hmm. She always said something like, well, women doing stuff to the hair, they going through. The face. Like Boyfriends and stuff, all yeah. that stuff. So she never did be like, "Why are you?" Doing, you know. So and then she just based always like on women. Mm -hmm. When we go overjoyed, it's oh. something how they present themselves. So. Janelle's been doing her hair yeah. here, and she, her motto was, "I don't like hairstyles. I just like to wear it straight." And then we came here. She's been putting a ponytail. I mm. wrapped it up the other day. She's and she's been... I, I took it from your what you just said, that she's in a place that she really likes. She's having fun. Mm. Versus at home, she yeah. said, we're going back to... Uh, what's that movie? She told me the Truman Show. We're going back to... She said, we're going back to the Truman Show. <laughs> And that's where she just don't want to do nothing to her hair. Wow. Because yeah. tomorrow is going to be Groundhog Day. Yeah, Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that movie. <laughs> they know that movie. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, and she cut the last three days, everything, every day was different. And mm -hmm. just having so much fun. That's why Chicago was in life. So the memory, yeah. yeah. I'm like, she movie. said, tomorrow, Dad, tomorrow, I'm going to put wear uh, my hair in two ponytails. She specifically told me she does not like ponytails. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, nah, that would look you would look good with that. Mm -hmm. No, I just I just just wear straight. Get here tomorrow I'm wearing the two ponytails. And she did it too. Mm -hmm. So that's you tell the temp jokes my mom used to say, you know, I ain't busting out. <laughs> yeah. Do you, yeah. Is that apply to women too? <laughs> I'm trying to think back. I'm just saying what my mom said. I ain't, I ain't going to do It do. Because ever since she's been having her hair up like that, she's been. No. <laughs> she's been a little extra. I mean, I like it. Don't, don't trust me. I like it. <laughs> Just men just can't like say like, well, once you die blind, baby, uh, you can't, you can't do no choices for them. No, nah, it has to be her. Like, and when it's down, when it's when her hair is down, once she takes the style down, it's just mm -hmm. like that. Jerry, wake up! Help take out the trash. <laughs> Why don't you do the dishes? Why don't you? It's the hair, man. <laughs> so I got to wake up, see how the hair is, and then I'll react. I'll be pro proactive, proactive instead, of to the hair, instead of reactive to the hair. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm tired. Don't mind me. The clock is over, man. No? Time moving slow all of a sudden. And do, will you need me to watch it so you can go to bed and stay up? Okay. You're going to see it to the end, to completion? That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You uh, find your passport? Huh? Find your passport? No. I was supposed to be doing that this whole weekend, but it's, it's somewhere attainable because... You I just it saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. It's I somewhere just close. Yeah. Yeah. So. 
But I just want to get that stuff done and, and tell my kids to they need to work on They travel so much. Yeah, actually they do, because they've been to like Jamaica and stuff. Yeah. You need it for yeah, I remember I was saying like, you know what? We're gonna go and train how to use guns. And like, yeah, we already did it tonight. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's for me tonight. Like what else left there for me to do or teach? So what y'all packing? Yeah. 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 You pack the boy you dead. But I think bugs. Oh, Little yeah, he's Bugs, in with that. He, he was doing that with the, with the church. With his class, or he goes to have like, exercise class. And he always be innovative. With, with the church, class. right? Yeah. yeah. I'm glad Bugs active with that. He always wanted to take, uh, take up the Deacon Maps and Mantle. Yeah. He's a good guy. Bro. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. How was the family reunion? Yeah. How was the family reunion? Family reunion. We didn't get to make. Oh, you didn't go. Never mind. Or I don't know if you did. I only was going to go if y'all came. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Because uh, Michelle and them just said I couldn't go. For I, honestly, I wonder because I was like, how strictly are they going to enforce this whole? They're like, yeah. you have but they sack away as a guest. Oh, okay. with us, with Michelle and Mike. With, with, yeah, but yeah. if oh. y'all came, I, I wouldn't care what. They right. Say. <laughs> um, I mean, because I want to be with the grandkids. Yeah. yeah. I would have took the guest thing. Yeah. yeah. But like, like I told them, I understood. Yeah. You know. They. Because they were saying like how they were just telling me about like how these people were money, you know, kind of. Like, and my explanation to them was, look, this is where I explained it. I said, now, uh, I, I was a soul. I sold into the family. Yeah, wow. yeah. And if I married into the family, I, I planted oh. in the family. Oh, okay. But since I was just a soul, a soul and seed, oh. I can, I can see yeah. why, you know, I don't have to go. I mean, yeah. I can see why I can go as a guest. Mm -hmm. And they were like, oh, that makes sense. But mm -hmm. I was uh, I was Johnny Appleseed's soul. Yeah. But if I married, I planted right. kids into the family. Yeah. That makes a difference. Yeah. Yeah. But they would just tell me different scenarios of people. They were like, you know. Like, yeah. So, but, was yeah, it was it was a, and it wasn't no animosity. No. Anything. I mean, yeah. it was good. Because they didn't invite me. Yeah. But I was just like, no, you know. I mean, there's going to be other opportunities, you know. Yeah. But, you know. So if Maya and Michelle didn't tell us, we wouldn't have known about it. And the only thing I heard from my family was bugs, like, in the middle of the week, right before, was it like a Wednesday before? It was the week of. It was the week of. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known anyway. So I didn't get a formal invite. Oh, oh okay. Are you ready? Damn. So, uh -oh. now, if it was in the bread pan, it would have took the shape of the bread pan. This was just, this is as wide That's as That's a good rise, it. though. It's a great rise. It rose yeah. really well. But if it's in that bread pan, like you can get them at Kroger, yeah. it'll be like a loaf. So, these yeah. won't look like loaves. They're going to look like the but shape. But it's going to be it's bread. Cut and eat. Yes, yeah. they're going to be just, just fine. Yes, sir. So, you just want to take each one. Just a little bit more, not hot. I can tell which one I see. <laughs> so yeah, you just pop it in for 20 minutes. And it's going to stay this shape. Like, it's not going to change anymore after this. That's, that's how the bread's going to look. Uh, wait, no. I need a timer. A timer. How, um, if you wanted, if you ever wanted to add, like, toppings to it, this would be the stage to do it before we put it in the oven. You would you could put a little bit of. Uh, bacon. So I would put butter on it. If it was me. Well, right now. I would. Nah. You wouldn't. Nah, it doesn't eat butter. It's gonna get brown by itself. Sorry. Did I do that right? All right. Well, I'm just doing my.
Okay, it's counting down. It did. It's counting down. Um, you can put something on it, like, once you, after that second rise, you can put a little bit of oil, and then you can put, like, sesame seeds, or oregano, or rosemary, whatever you want to put on it. I want to taste it in its natural state first. Then, yeah. Yeah. And I, and I have brought this other butter that I wanted to try. That other butter. I don't want to show y'all because y'all be like, oh, them kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 mm. They did that at Darius' brother's house with children, like, went in the kitchen and was just like, oh, we can't eat this. We can't. Oh, okay. I've never heard of this. Better little garlic parmesan basil. That sounds Says amazing. real butter. It says whipped, no oils. no oils, very good. No Buttercream, salt, Parmesan cheese, milk, cultures, kosher enzymes, garlic spices. Yeah, looks good. We eat, we would eat this. We would eat this. Better butter. I've never heard of this before. I guess I'm right. Did you get this from Kroger? Yeah. Oh, I've never heard of this. Nice. They got they have three different kinds. Mm-hmm. That's, that's Sub cinnamon butter, yes, and something else. Yeah. Check out the program, bro. You can make your own butter, too. You take heavy whipping cream and just add the whipping. Whip it and do it. Just make your own butter. Yeah, you put your own seasoning. Yeah, <laughs> 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 it starts to spread. You're overwhelming me. One day at a time. Sweet, tell you something. That's right. That's all. I'm coming up. Oh, Ain't that like that yes. commercial? Mm -hmm. I thought it was like they, put, they sell the tapes, the buy oh, set yeah, CDs, yeah, yeah. and it would run through. Oh, yeah, yeah, they would. Like on BT. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought that was one of the songs, too. Uh, I think it was one the white day white. at a time. I think that's the white, white That's song. the white version of it. I mean, no, they got white songs that they sell like a lot of songs like that. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, the, that's the lead song. <laughs> <laughs> when bad times, sweet, sweet Jesus. Jesus. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> sweet as the day go by. You said your mom had a spoke like that. Mm -hmm. It's the same spoke she had. I was wondering why you just Oh, well, that was at her house that she sold. Oh, that's right. So the, the house that she sold was that skill. Yeah, she, she really liked the, the things she used. She is, yeah. She really likes it. Um, and I mean, the whole lot of units love I say so. This feel, yeah. Yeah. It's not gated, no. But no one goes, like, it, it's quiet. It's quiet. All the streets are quiet. No one goes over there. It's right next to the daycare and a senior uh, a nursing home it's yeah it doesn't even need to be gated it's just it's very safe um, and your mom goes out doing activities like she just sorry she just started doing that so she goes to the Y and she does water aerobics and then there's a senior center uh, less than five minutes from her and they have the activities you know board games um, they serve you lunch you give them lunch they have different activities you participate yeah. in just, just feeling like something void, you know. Yes, because I mean, you know they're like, you yeah. gotta get out. Even being exercise, just, you know, just get that mental thing. Mm -hmm. And she walks her street. If you do four laps around her street, that's one mile. It's totally four miles. So she's trying to build up. But she's always walking, though. So she would walk, but she's very particular about, like, the conditions she can walk in. She can't walk in the sun because um, her skin gets irritated. She'll right. burn. So it has to be like really early in the morning before the sun gets up too high, or later in the evening after the sun has started to set a little bit, but it's still laid out. So yeah, she's um she's enjoying it. And, yeah. Yeah, John was still here. She probably he probably never was downsized. Never, because she had wanted to downsize um when he was here. He was like. He wasn't going anywhere. He, he stayed until mm -hmm. he wasn't interested in uh, downsizing. Mm -hmm. She was. Because it was just 
a lot of, like, even houses, you use a lot to try to keep up with. But she, okay, what's interesting, she downsized to this two-bedroom condo, and now she's hired someone who comes in, like, once a month. But we were telling her that when she had the house, I'm like, you can hire someone to come and clean maybe once or twice a week or every other week. You don't have to be the one cleaning this house. You get somebody else to do it. No, no. Okay, now you downsize. And, and we've had some of those tenants in the house. That's what they were saying. She said, like, yeah, I got somebody coming in like twice a month. Yeah. And people do it. Yeah, it was cheaper to do it twice a month instead of like every week. Mm -hmm. And she said, no, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. And it's just cheaper. And then the other lady said it too. And I was like, how come I never hear? And, but, and I got some cleaning people. They do it right across the street. Mm -hmm. It's like two cars a lady. I think two come, take two little there, and two come, and they all go out together. But mm -hmm. I was like, it's just too close to home for me. Mm -hmm. One car to, I see. to come over here and then. Oh, yeah. I might not be really here and like, a husband yeah. or boyfriend or something. Like, you know, might come here with them. I don't know. But they were just saying, like, the lady that does there, that if I want to, she can come back. Yeah. Give me like an estimate. Can, yeah, be specific on what you want. That's how my mom was. She get, she told her exactly what what yeah. she wanted done and simple as that. So it definitely. And Kim said she's been doing it for like five or six years. I'm like, wow, I didn't know. <laughs> People do it. But they got a nice size house though. Mm. So I, the main thing I just need to dust. They will do it if it's just a dusting. Just take it off your plate and then it's done. And then Kim will be like. She just hates the bedroom because they rearrange stuff. Mm, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Talking about the cleaners too? Yeah. Oh. Well, well, she just got that one lady, but you know, they Still. personable. Right? Mm -hmm. She said, no matter how much you tell her, don't do it. She said, you know, mm. you know, mm. Mm. I mean, like I said, I really don't want to work another year, but I would love, but, I would love to work just so that I can just bring Michelle and my, you know, together on like a big trip like that. Oh, yeah. And you know, not just go where y'all at, you know, but like all over, see hit more countries Egypt or something, you know. Because mm -hmm. y'all make it sound like y'all gonna land in Dubai first. We're going to land where? Um, oh, Dubai? Qatar, Qatar. Qatar, Saudi Arabia, something like that? Yeah. Qatar. Closest to Dubai, yeah. yeah. So, uh, that's a pretty big airport, that one, Qatar? Qatar is, yeah. Um, So, we'll explore that. It'd be nice to get outside. And, I uh, looked up and I seen, like, uh, what's the name, Charlotte Scott, Tiffany. Seemed like it was, like, seven, eight women. It yeah, seemed like they went to Dubai. Oh, I Where, saw from? that, yeah, on Facebook. Oh, yeah. from the House they of God? Trip, yeah, they took a trip to Dubai, and they did go to Dubai. I don't know if it was House of God, totally. Okay, just what people you knew. Yeah, I just know Tiffany posted something, and... There was another else. group of women who did, too, yeah. Monique? Monique, yeah. yeah. And I was like, how did Monique have money to go or something? So, like that was my first time, too. I'm like, where are y'all? How are y'all <laughs> I hope they're not. I hope folks not. Not credit cards. Yeah, I hope it's not. But hey, whatever. I mean, when Nick drives a school bus, I'm like, I drive a school bus. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if she's still driving, I don't know. I was like, man, where'd she get money from? Yeah. It can't be done. You can find yeah, it. Yeah, like, uh, that's what. And when you. When, when people look at us, I think, well, I don't think they think we have money. Like, we're not. Who? We're not much. Us. Like family? In general. Oh, okay. Anybody who we've. So no, we ain't got money. Because the first thought is, how in the world you afford to take five folks? <laughs> That's Africa. a good point. We don't have money. Like, we don't. Yeah. We don't. Because Most High allowed us to find new tickets to be cheap. So, for all five of us, well, I think it was. 5000 It was less than 5000 Less than 5000 It was. I think it was 3800 I didn't know it was that cheap, April. That's just one way, though. 
That was one way. That was one way. Yeah, definitely. Thirty eight hundred. I knew that. That's pretty good. But that's still that good. Great. For five people. Cause when we were trying to get it, it was like close to ten. Oh yeah, I saw some for like. 20. We was trying. To, we was looking at June. But we looked for the cheapest ones, mm-hmm. the closest, yeah. and that was thirty eight. When and we when I and when I was looking at stuff, they gave uh, dates of when it's best to yeah. travel. Yeah, same for yep. me. Yeah. So mm-hmm. and I just I chose one of the cheaper dates, but yeah, like one of the ones that I picked, if we had just <coughs> gone left on one day, the mm-hmm. next day it was like it jumped from thirty eight hundred to twenty grand for mm-hmm. all five. Yeah, like, I didn't realize that. This is a fast turnaround to all, you know, people first finding out we're going to move in Africa. Mm-hmm. Oh, first you like year, yeah. can't get like it's foreign, and then you say, So when are you moving? End of October. Whoa, whoa, that fast? Yeah. So for us, it wasn't that fast. If we would, and you was like, Oh, I thought it was going to be like a two year, like a progression yeah. to that. Yeah. But if we did it like that, that's too much time to change our mind for mm-hmm. something to happen. Yeah. So, you know, emergency, yeah. we would have lost momentum. Yeah. I mean, now you got time. If it don't work out, just come back. And yeah, it's, it's nothing permanent, yeah. but we don't want any plan. Like, we didn't leave any plan Bs. Mm-hmm. I mean, plan B, outside of family helping us out, get, get us back on our feet. Other than that, not looking, looking back. But, again, nothing's permanent. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It, we might end up in Africa for two years, and they might end up in Japan. Who knows? Uh, or Mexico. Or wherever y'all leads us. Because <laughs> we all, he said he, he scattered us to the four corners of the earth. So we might make an eye check like Paul as a family. Yeah, could you come to our Petalus? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely music. Right, right. <laughs> right, right. I don't know what John was complaining about. Uh, <laughs> it's lovely. Yeah. Sandy beaches. Yeah. <laughs> Bring some nutter butters. Yeah. We miss nutter butters. And they say it, it was it was a pretty island then, even when they you know they used it as a peanut colony. Patmos. Oh, at the time. Yeah. Everything was nice. Well, I ain't gonna say that. But it was compared just, to now. It was just the idea of you stuck there. And, no freedom. And, 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 yeah. So. Yeah. Our idea of nice and their idea of nice is probably different. But uh. Cause I mean, I'm thinking like, man, it has to be just like, I'm thinking all dark and dreary. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. But, but he was yeah. probably had margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> That's more margarita video. Writing revelations. <laughs> no wonder I saw something. <laughs> 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 Lots for me. But the, the thing I'm all with is that you isolated like that. There's no internet, no Facebook. Yeah. Only meditation. Mm-hmm. But yet the word still gets out. You still can't, reach you can't bury it on the ground no matter what. But the word the revelation still was revealed. Revealed. The, rev- yeah. the revealing. <laughs> the uncovering. You know, so yeah. No matter what. You know. That's but, why I can say no. No, you were saying, like, I hope people don't think we got money. We're pretty much going on faith. And I yeah. think that's the message that the Messiah ha- was given. Like, mm-hmm. no, nah, you don't need money. And you just need faith. And I was gonna say, Rich young ruler, I don't need your money. You just like, need faith. You don't need. I, I think I shared that with our uh, dentist when I was telling her. Because like, that was one of Jaden's initial questions. He was like, how much money do you have? <laughs> 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 how are we going <laughs> to? And I was like, but Jaden, I was like, that's an excellent question. I let him know how much we had. And then I was like, but do you, because it was when I told him, he's just like, is that enough? I was like, but that's the point. Like, it's not supposed to be enough. You'll never have enough. Yeah. You probably ideally want like, whatever, six figures or 500,000 or whatever. You'll never have yeah. enough. That's not the point. The point is you go, like you said, on faith, trusting that Yah will provide. Why? Because he's going to you stand in need of. Yeah. And with whatever he has blessed you with, use good stewards over that. Use wisdom, yes. prudence. Because it can go far. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't, he says, it can go fast or far. <laughs> right, fast or far. He says the two fish and the five loaves yeah, fed see? the multitude. 
That's what made it a miracle. And this is to help get out of that black man mentality, which y'all did a long time ago when y'all sold the house that y'all had. Mm -hmm. How black people think that to show that you're successful, that you have oh. uh, A, B, C. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Success is your marriage and everybody mm -hmm. bonding together. Yeah. Yes. Learning and yeah. growing. Yes. Yeah. The success ain't, ain't immediate. It's that microwave attitude that yeah. the majority of our people have. They can't show if they can't show success with the big car, external stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with with those things there, Vanity. they don't. So if y'all go and y'all come back, they, 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 people will say, "Oh, they didn't succeed." Yeah. But you can't take away your, from the riches of the yeah. experience that you got yeah. in here. What we learn. You can't take that away. And the exposure. Mm -hmm. Especially for the, the kids. Yeah, I was going to say the exposure. Yeah. That's all, that's all the matter. You can't yeah. take that you know? away. Yeah. So you can't never let nobody say that you failed because what what's the what, what are you comparing it to? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. What can you compare it to yeah. when you say failure? Mm -hmm. You can look at it like if you stayed here, you could just say like, man, I'm making all this money, but I still feel like a failure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, so what are you comparing it to? Yeah. Right. Yeah. When you get to the material, it's the, it's the spirit man that you're really trying to get to grow. Right. If the spirit man grows, none of this other material stuff matters yes, anyway. At all. If you were growing in a yard, if you were growing in God, yeah. all this other stuff yeah. is going to perish anyway. That's what Paul, I can't so all this done. If you can train up your children the way they should go, you know, toward God, I mean, that's. Job well done. How can they forfeit their inheritance? You can you can forfeit <laughs> money. Yeah. You can forfeit material things yeah. because you don't know the value. Mm -hmm. if, if 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 I left you a million yeah. dollars, it's a million dollars, mm -hmm. but you don't know the value because you didn't see me when I worked twenty four seven, mm -hmm. day and night, pinching what pennies. You know. Yeah. Me and my wife shine a little bit so that you can yeah. you didn't see that when you grew up you just seen like you a lot. Got a big house. Mm -hmm. yeah. They got money and they they drive yeah. their That's all you see. Yeah. So to me it's no value, it's a million dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, like they say you can know the price of something but not the cost. Mm, <laughs> that's that's <laughs> the <Good> wisdom. <laughs> You always know the price. It's Preach. soft sick to but you don't know the cost. Preach. That's like when they have a war. Yeah. You you figure out how much the, all the bombs and all the planes are, from, but the cost of people dying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you never. Price. You never get the cost. You can always say, yeah, we spent like two point trillion dollars on the mm -hmm. war. Yeah. But the cost don't add up. Mm -hmm. The souls. When you in fact the people. The lives, sweat. You mm -hmm. always know the price. Of yeah. <laughs> that's that's a whole different perspective. I mean, but that's just where it always going to be. Yeah. <laughs> when Jesus died, who he paid the, the cost, price. the price. But what was the cost? Yeah. If we call every soul that just been ingrained into the message, mm -hmm. and those that don't ingrain, so what's the cost? Mm. And just you know. Stuff, Something to think about. Just never really, really get that. Can never be in the right. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It just make the blood more valuable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For those that are endeared yeah. to the blood. You know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know. He paid, he paid the price. Yeah. So what was the cost? Yeah. yeah. Found a found a pearl and sold everything just so he can <laughs> afford that that piece of property value yeah see I find value in just this mm -hmm. we could have had a nice home and then me still wondering huh I wonder still who more. is my dad still want more still Not I want to know because the Jones moved in next door yeah mm -hmm. and where does it end yeah. it does and that's the thing it's man it's like y'all 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 people be like man they crazy I know <laughs> no but y'all y'all in agreement mm -hmm. One or two are gathered and yeah. agree, touch and agree, mm -hmm. and just, 
Yeah, maybe I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He didn't probably sound like said, well, just give me my right, 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 right. Riots is living. <laughs> I go, I go to Africa before y'all get there. Right. I, when I come back, I tell you about it. <laughs> uh, I get over there and I say, like, man, I ain't eating lamb no more. I'm over here eating the hoof. The hoof. Yeah, I'm, I'm eating lab grown meat. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can afford. Uh-oh. It's finished. Oh, don't say it's finished. That's that's that's. that's I'm I mean, it could stay in a little longer. Nuh-uh. It's done. All okay. good things must come to an end. This is done. This is how it looks. The clock went off? Yes, sir. The timer went off. See, that looks authentic. See, that's, when you set your bread out and people say it in the morning, they be like, every loaf ain't in my life. <laughs> right, right, that's right, right. authentic, right. you know. When they all different. Yeah. But when you can get all the... Look identical, something well, wrong. You get the uh, that loaf tan, they'll come out like more uniform. Still not perfectly symmetric, but they'll be more uniform. Than that. You smell that? Yeah, you it smells. Too, mm-hmm. Oh, it's gonna taste amazing. Yeah, it'll taste great. So at least the kids got something to wake up to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They oh, they love cold. the bread too. I'll have to make them not eat it all. Yeah, yeah they eat it like candy, like cake. Well, once I got one left. Yeah, yeah, well. Yes, sir. I, it's my way of giving back because y'all brought me a loaf. At least Aww. I'll be there, like, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it should be fine. Just sitting out. Normally, we have, like, um, you know, the dome cake pans. Yeah. Yeah, they're just sitting in there. Yeah, they have like that. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they have that. 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 Yeah, they you can slice them up in slices and lay it flat, put it in a container, store away like that. But we just like to keep them in loops. Yeah, that's it. It's done. Mm-hmm. Done and done. Right.